I'm Anthony Santiago. I'm Emily Birchwell. And, and this, this is Salty Jobs. Jobs. Hi, I'm Captain Sandy, and you're watching Salty Jobs. And if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss an episode of the incredible jobs that keep the marine industry moving. We're here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach, Florida, home to world-class sea turtle rehabilitation and marine science education. Since 1983, Loggerhead Marine Life Center has been rescuing sea life, powering research, and inspiring conservation through both its action and education. Today we'll be helping with marine life care and learning about how conservation programs operate. So Anthony, you ready to jump in? Yeah, Emily, let's get to work. I'm here with Aaron, the husbandry manager here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center. So Aaron, can you tell me what sparked your passion for working with marine life? Uh, it actually all started in high school when I went to a facility very similar, but they were more focused in dolphin uh, rehabilitation and conservation. And from then, that moment on, that was when I realized that I was gonna be at a facility very similar. It's really great that you had a passion from such a young age. So for other young people who share the same passion, what kind of degrees and education do you recommend they get? to pursue this career? Well, I definitely recommend starting getting some sort of degree or some pretty good experience. I personally have my bachelor's degree in marine science. I'm a scuba diving instructor, and I started my career just by volunteering. Got it, and I see tons of different marine life around the center. Can you tell me what we'll be doing today? We're actually gonna be prepping food for uh, one of our turtles in our care and for both of our sharks. Well, I think it's breakfast time, so why don't we get started? Let's go. Aaron and I started by checking the patient chart to see exactly what Turtwig the sea turtle needed for lunch. Once we had the plan, we grabbed their lunch box and pulled frozen squid and lettuce from the refrigerator. I added two full squid, just like the chart said, and stored everything back in the fridge for later. Then we moved over to the prep meals for the nurse sharks, Gertrude and Victoria. We portioned out a mix of squid, fish, and crab. A few hours later, it was feeding time. To make sure Turtwig got their vitamins, we hid them inside the squid and fed those first, using tongs. Then, we slid lettuce onto a PVC stick that mimics the look and feel of seagrass. It gives the turtle a more enriching experience. For the sharks, Aaron tucked their vitamins into the fish, and we fed those first to ensure they got their supplements. To avoid the other marine life in the tank, we fed each shark near the coral reef on opposite ends of the tank. With Turtwig, Gertrude, and Victoria fed and happy, our work here is done. We're here with Valerie, the conservation manager at Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach. So Val, how did you end up in this field to begin with? Yeah, I love that question. So I started off my career, just like many other of my colleagues, I started off as a summer camp counselor. Um, and that summer camp counselor job got me into a field in education, which I really loved, but I felt like I was missing a little bit more. So then I wanted to learn about the research side of things. So when I was in college, I did a lot of research work and I also love that but I wanted to figure out a way how to marry the two and how to use whatever I found in my research and apply it to make comprehensive solutions to the threats that we're seeing. And I get to do that directly here in the conservation department at Loggerhead. Wow, that is really cool. So if someone were to want to be in the same field as you, are there certifications or certain types of schooling they should pursue? I definitely recommend if you want to work in this field, it's always a good idea to try and get your bachelor's degree, at least in biology, because it's a nice blanket term and you can go in different, different ways with that. But but it's also not always required. There are some jobs that require without a bachelor's degree, as long as you have the experience behind it. So not only do you need a degree, it's also not always required, but making sure that you have internships and volunteer opportunities that really back you up and make you show that you have a lot of different experience in this field too. One of the primary functions that you have here as conservation manager is ensuring that the waterways are clear of debris. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we're gonna go through that and you're gonna show me a little bit about that process, which I'm excited to yeah. see. You ready? I'm always ready. Val and I started by dumping a full bag of marine debris into the sorting bin. Using Loggerhead's data sheet, we separated the trash into specific categories for their recycling program. We sorted out oral care products, straws, glass bottles, personal care items, 
shoes, microplastics, gloves, corks, utensils, monofilament fishing line, aluminum cans, balloons, wrappers, and other fishing gear. Anything that didn't fit into one of these categories was marked as trash. Each item we sorted helps contribute to Loggerhead's ongoing research and sustainability efforts. By tracking exactly what ends up on our beaches, they can better understand pollution patterns and make informed decisions to protect marine life. Once everything was sorted and recorded, our messy pile of debris turned into clean, organized data. We're here at Loggerhead Marine Life Care in Juneau Beach, Florida. Is it care? We're here at Loggerhead Marine Center. Marine Life. Marine Life Center. We're here at we're here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center in Juneau Beach, Florida, home to world-class world-class sea turtle rehab. <laughs>